Okay, here's my fully completed two player quick draw deck holster. Those white specks around it, that's just glue because glue stick helps 3D print stick to the build plate. And I don't feel like rinsing that off because it takes like 10 minutes and I don't feel like spending 10 minutes. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I wonder if I can set up, no, I'm just going to have to set the phone on the side of the table again and do everything underneath. So the way it works or the way it's used is this comes off and then the inner side slides out and that is the graveyard and banish zones oh. so that is the buckets that are the that, that contain the graveyard and the banish zone these are little dividers that go in them there's a bigger one and a smaller one and the smaller one goes in the smaller bucket and the bigger one goes in the bigger bucket and those dividers those dividers are there so that you can tell the graveyard apart from the banished zone obviously and then what you do is you open no wait you pull out this plug because I way over complicated everything because I printed this and didn't want to reprint it but you pull out the plug you open this then you pull out this inner deck box which doesn't sit flat but it sits <laughs> and this one is basically it contains my deck and it has it's hard to see because it's dark right now but yeah it has my cards in it and I don't know if I can show it being used but then now you have two deck boxes and two out of play card boxes and that allows for two people to play the game also this little plug will go when it's not during the game the little plug goes here so that you can easily open and close this lid because it blocks the lid from being opened if it's on the outside here you know so you would so what I would do is I would basically open it up like that and then I would give the other player this one and probably this one and that would be the smaller graveyard banner zone and the bigger deck box and that would be because the bigger deck box is kind of easier to understand right and also a little easier to use and this one is also a little easier to use and the, what makes them easier to use and understand is this angle here this angle here makes it easier to use the uh, to, to draw cards from this one and this is a very difficult I don't, this stupid camera is so crap but this is a very difficult geometry to like cope with when you're trying to put it on your pants so I would rather I just deal with that and then the other person can deal with the much more easy to use one and I wonder if I can show the deck box being used let me see something okay that's standing okay so the first card has to 
has to come out comes out a little harder than the rest but you can draw the cards one at a time like that because of how this because of how this deck box works and how my dual blade work I actually have my cards sleeved upside down right normally normally the the part where you insert the cards into that would be the top of the deck of the card sleeve but mine are upside down because it just makes it easier to use my stuff with it but yeah it is still hard for me to pull the deck out of the box because my fingers are still way too fat but I can do it but it's hard but I can pull the whole deck out of the box and it's even harder to do when oh hang on okay There, I've got the deck out of the box. It's much easier to pull the extra deck out, which is good because the extra deck, you pull the whole thing out like every time you use it because you gotta, or every time you use a card from the extra deck, you pull the whole thing out because you gotta search through your extra deck to get the particular card you want because it contains like cards that are specifically summoned and crap, you know? Uh, so that's how that works. Um. Oh, I forgot to mention that this deck box has a little bit of assembly. You pull out this divider here and you slip it into this slot here and it goes down and now you've got deck and extra deck, deck, extra deck. Now if I was to make another version of this and make improvements on it I would have the lids open this way instead of this way because then you don't have to worry about them blocking your hands in order to get pull the deck out uh, I would make it a little shorter because you will notice Those are really low in there. Really low. I don't know why it's so low. Like on this one, I kind of would un understand why it's so low because the bottom, the bottom there where the cars are sitting has to be obviously underneath this floor here, which is about 1.6 millimeters lower than the floor of this, than the actual card floor of this one, you know? So I understand why this one would be lower, but it's even pretty darn, even this one's a little too tall. So yeah, it's, it's weird. Actually, my extra deck is is sleeved right way up because again, how it how my dual blade works and how you know drawing cards work from the extra deck works. It's easier to sleeve my extra deck right way up, but and my uh, main deck upside down. So like, if anyone ever would you know copy this or make their own version of this little tips leave your cards upside down and that's just kind of how it works you know you can draw your cards I might as well show it show the other one being used to just prove that they both work I don't know how anyone would not under would would not believe that they don't both work when they're both the same geometry but
But yeah. Just pull your cards. Let me see if I can get a better angle where it's more visible. Draw your cards one at a time. And it's easy that way. In case anyone was wondering why it's easier to use this with upside down sleeves, it's because when you pull, hang on. When you pull on some card sleeves like that, right? Some sleeves don't grip the card very well and will come out without the card. So if you pull, if you sleeve them upside down, then the bottom of the sleeve here, which becomes the top, is gonna pull on the card. And so it allows the card to always guaranteed to come out with the rest of the sleeve. Also, I'm fairly certain that this is harmless to the cards, but just in case, I would recommend sleeves. I mean, no one, no one who's actually into card games doesn't sleeve their cards anyways because they want to protect their cards from, you know, environmental crap in the first place. But yeah, and then when you when you're uh, done with the game, let me put everything back. I'm gonna put my deck back in the uh, inner deck box. Before, uh, before I forget to. Right? So, finish with the game. My deck is in here, right? I take I take back this from the other player. I put the divider back in the back here. Then I put the inner deck box inside of it. It might take a little bit of fiddling just to line things up properly because of when it was printed, it was printed with a bit of an inaccuracy which made me have to change the angle of the divider, and then I pull out this tab, close, close this, put the tab back in, right, and then I take these two, right, they would have the dividers in them, like that. I pull out the dividers from both of them, right? I slide, I slide them in. I will line up the dividers so that this face is one trapezoid shape. I will put the dividers into this little slot here. Okay, sometimes, sometimes it's, it's particular about the orientation the divider goes into the slot with, so. And then, I take this, I get the dividers in first, and then I line up it's hard because it's dark, but it's, so it's hard to see. But I line up this with this, and I slide it in, and it stays, and it's not going anywhere. And then obviously, 
these are for attaching to your pants or your belt or your shirt if you have a thick enough shirt. I have, I wear thin t-shirts so like if I were to put that on the neck of my shirt it'd like hang down like that which would make it really hard to draw the cards. But maybe if you were wearing like a jacket or a sweater, something a little more substantial, you know, it might work. Another thing I'm thinking of doing, which would be a little later, would be to make a deck box that has, that instead of having these belt clips has loops to go through a strap and the strap would go all the way around you and you would be having several of these deck boxes on that strap so that you could wear multiple decks at once and then this, right, would just be on your hip ready to go or even better, even better, right, only the inner one, just two of the inner one would be not on your hip ready to go, but essentially just on on the on the strap that contains all the deck boxes, these would be on like at the end there for you to like actually you know that would be your in play deck. It'd be fun. I think that'd be a fun idea, but that would require printing multiple deck boxes. And I was so averse to printing multiple deck boxes that I didn't even print you know, modifications to this one that I should have made. So, <laughs> instead, instead I just went with, this is already printed, therefore everything else has to be, has to be, um, what's the word? And like molded to, to this, so, yeah. But also, it stands up on its own pretty nicely with and without the uh, graveyard banish zones so that's pretty nice and I just I just that is an easier way to to do it isn't it hang on what I've been doing is like pulling on this tab but I don't have to because of how <laughs> that's funny but yeah that's that's the two player quick draw deck holster it holds one deck right now but it can open up and hold two decks so that two players can play Yu-Gi-Oh both play Yu-Gi-Oh! on this two-player dual blade. So, this is something... This is two, two things that I would wear if I was going to, like, a card shop or something. And I would... You know, people would be like, hey, what's that? And I'd be like, oh, it's a dual disc. Because they don't know dual blade because dual blade is something I say and then I'd be like you want to play and they'd be like but I don't have my own I'm like it's two players and they'd be like oh but I don't have this weird thing that you have but I'd be like but I have two of them this is two of them and then we'd play Yu-Gi-Oh so yeah that'd be pretty fun what was I going I was gonna oh yeah 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 let me just let me just show why I separated the dual disc or the dual blade from the uh, deck. Let's put this on a side to, to look so to, to look like how it would look like in the uh, if it was so either it would have to be. I'm just gonna put my, my phone on the side of the table again. Okay. So either it would be this 
and this, like that, which is big and clunky, or like that, which is also big and clunky, and it gets, it just gets in the way everywhere. Look at, look at how, how big that is. I can barely fit it in between, like, me sitting like that is uncomfortable. But without this, me sitting like this is comfortable. And that's why I separated the deck from the actual dual blade, which I think is a design flaw of the original dual disc toys, is that they insist that you have the deck and the play zones in the same spot, in the, in the same device. And of course, it would be to sell this to children and have it set be, be several separate pieces would be annoying because children tend to lose things, but I'm a grown man who plays a children's card game. So it's fine for me to have several separate pieces. <laughs> Also, this looks like a robot, but I can print out pieces to make it look more like a robot, and I might do that. I'm, I'm really thinking of doing that because I think it'd be pretty funny. But yeah, that's, that's the whole system all together. And of course, just like before, because it's the exact same thing as before, because it was made earlier, this opens up to play your cards and another reason why it's easier to sleeve your cards upside down for your main deck but your extra deck cards um the right way up is your extra deck cards would go in those slots usually and those slots right and, be and because of the orientation of cards where let's see because the orientation of cards would have um, the, let's see, if I can come up with some way of orienting, okay, that fan over there, that fan and that air filter, and those pillows, right, my cards will be oriented with their top towards that fan over there, and if I had them sleeved right way up, my main deck cards would have a hard time going into these two slots because because of the fact that the opening on the on the uh, card sleeve goes uh, might might sometimes want to open up and having the extra deck sleeved upside down would have that same difficulty so the extra deck is sleeved right way up and the main deck is sleeved right or upside down And my friend was like, why did you sleeve your cards like that? And I said, it was just because it's easier to use these things that way. And he's like, oh, you're right. You're, you're a dumbass, but you're right. Because, <laughs> you know. I'm, I am often a correct dumbass. That's probably the best way to describe me as a person. I'm right, but I'm a dumbass. So yeah, that's that's the whole system uh, for playing Yu-Gi-Oh! on the go now. We've got the dual blade and the deck holster. Also, this makes me feel like a cowboy in Yu-Gi-Oh! in the anime. Like, I could imagine a cowboy character in the anime using this, drawing it from the hip like it's a frickin' gun and like pointing finger guns he probably would have some kind of some kind of cowboy archetype deck and and like his boss monster would would involve like you know would probably involve guns and and horses but anyways that's that and that's the that's that's the full that's the finished product and that's the full system so, I'm done with that for now. Until I decide I want an improved version. But for now, that's good enough. Cool.